Hello everyone, today I'll be seeing how to install the virtual game extension for OBS and Linux. Although there aren't many instruction manuals over online for this, it's going to be pretty much easy if you just follow this video. Okay, now, this is the OBS, uh, we're, uh, it's running as 26.1.1, uh, the links will be there in the description below to download it. Make sure you're having the latest version. See, this is a tools option here, we'll be seeing an uh, option, extra option, after we finish the installing the plugins, it will be named as before to sync, this will be your virtual cam options. To do that, first we'll be needing a loopback device, you can install it by sudo aptitude install v4l2 loopback slash dkms link to source code of these devices will be also there in the description below. For Fedora it's going to be pretty much similar except we'll be installing the kernel header files manually. The commands for Fedora will be there in the description below if you're gonna need it. So now we need to add a local loopback device. So we can do sudo or probe. Uh, let's say video number is say 5 and uh, our camera name, which is the card label, is let's say my Vcam. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, what? Oh, yeah, I forgot to write V4L to look back. V4L2 back. Okay, that should do it fine. So to check whether you have done it right or not, you could use this command, which will be ls slash div slash video asterisk. So you see slash div slash video slash five is our created one. It's named as myvwebcam.com. So you could just run this command to see whether or not the video device is initiated. These two video devices are my webcams, so it's not really needed now. So now we've, now we've done that, now we need to install the plugin. Actually you don't need to compile the plugin because I've already compiled the plugins and uh, have it in a folder. This is it. The uh, link to this file will be there in the description below. All you need to do is copy it and paste it in the plugin folder. So I'll be showing you now. Let's get into home directory. We need to enable certain files. Then get to config. Then uh, OBS tools. If you don't have a plugins folder, create one. P L U G I N S. Okay. Okay, I didn't name it right. P L U G I N S. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, now I'll just copy this. And paste it over here. Okay. Now we have done that. Now we should be ready to go with our OBS. Okay. Just maybe I need to restart this. Okay, now we are seeing the options we failed to sync here. Just open it there. Just specify whatever the number you came for a video is number. Mine was 5, so I can 5. So I'm gonna give start here. Okay, just close it over there. We could put anything over here. You could put a video source or image file or a color scheme, whatever you want. Well, let's tie some colors. Okay, we will select some color. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, now we have a virtual webcam which is named as my vcam. We just go to okay. This is a Google Meet. So let's start an instant meeting for testing purpose, of course. Okay, that's okay. Let's do it. Okay, you see now this is our interpreter. Let's have a camera over here. We could change things just like that. Okay, now that's our camera. I could put anything over here. I could put a photo or a video, whatever we like. If you want to do a closer, just go over there. Stop. That's it. Okay, now we have a little problem here. We added this command right sudo prob model. It's gonna be erased. Or you have to do it every time you restart your computer or shut it down. So to prevent that, we'll be need to patch things up in our configuration files a little bit. You could just directly power over there to the location, or you could just use Vim to you know edit the files. Will be there in these dark regions or modules. 
slash load dot d slash video for Linux to loop back dot config okay did I put it correctly modules dot load dot d okay that's good okay, now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna what this is it does it starts the loopback device every time it starts the computer okay video for Escape, then plus colon, then write quit. Okay, that should have done the things. Okay, next we have to change another dot tree for giving these things. So we'll just copy this. Okay, copy. And then I'll add options in front. Pdios options. Then we'll paste that. It's not for this one. Just to copy it. I just copy this one copy then we go no, I think it was there in uh, the mode probe yeah that's there in mode probe P R O P E now just paste it over here control shift V then say make escape colon right quit okay that should be the wrong file I forgot one thing it should be called prop dot t okay now we paste it escape wq okay that's done so now we don't need to worry about you know initializing it every time you start it's going to be started automatically every time you boot your computer so that's it thanks for watching if you love it don't forget to like it thank you